Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day enjoying this beautiful weather that we're finally getting in the UK. It's been absolutely gorgeous, hasn't it guys? So I've got a collective haul for you today. I've got some items that I picked up in Aldi's Middle Isle. Also, I've got one or two items from the charity shop and what else have I got? Oh, yes, I've got some items from Poundland to show you as well. Now, you guys know when I go into Poundland, I tend to do like a whole Poundland haul. I have got another Poundland haul coming up. But in this video today, I'm going to share with you two items, or is it three items, that I've recently picked up in Poundland. So if you'd like to see what I picked up, please keep watching. Okay, so what should I start with? Should I start with the charity shop items? Let me just take them out of the bag because literally I've got everything in the bag here and they're not in any particular order, as you can see, guys. Right, yeah, let me start with the charity shop. I did pick up one item, which I just absolutely love. It's a seasonal item. So when I show it to you guys, please don't, don't come for me, okay? Don't come for me. Okay, so the first item that I picked up in the charity shop, this is from the Sue Rider. And I absolutely love the Sue Rider charity shop. Every time I pop in there, I do tend to find very unique items. And this piece is just absolutely stunning. So this is it, guys. I picked up this little mini teapot. Now, it feels like it's cast iron. I don't know what the material of it is, but it is quite heavy. But I just absolutely love this. It'll just be a beautiful piece just to style up in my kitchen. You know, put it onto like a little like a chopping board. It actually goes with some of the items that I picked up in Aldi quite recently. I'll show you those in a second because I think this is gonna, this can actually sit right next to those items. Let me go and get them now because you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. So just bear with me one second, please. <laughs> get comfortable. Oh, okay, so I'm back. So this is the item that I got from Aldi um, quite recently. Was it quite recently? I think a couple of months ago. No, it wasn't a couple of months ago. What am I talking about? I've had these for a while from Aldi. I think it's less than six months that I had them. These are from the middle aisle. Okay, I'm saying these because I've got, um, I'm saying these because I've actually got three of these in my kitchen at the minute. So I'm thinking this teapot and this goes very well together, you know, just to sort of style up on a chopping board. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Now guys, this came in at £3.50, okay, in the Sue Rider. Um, it is a mini teapot, it's got this strainer bit in the middle there, okay. It looks like it could be actually brand new, because there's no rust or anything on this. It looks like it's, you know, it's um, it looks like in really good condition. I'm not actually going to use it as a teapot. I'm going to use it for styling up. And as you can tell, I absolutely love it. So that's my first item. It's a cute teapot. Okay, so the next item that I picked up in the charity shop were some storage items. These look brand new. I've got these ones from their Cancer Research. And they are originally IKEA. So this is two storage boxes. So this one is a small box, which just opens like that. This one I'm gonna to give to Little Oakley to put his football cards in. With it being the Euros, we've got football cards everywhere, guys. You got football cards for his birthday. You got two catalogs for his birthday, full of football cards. And it's got some extra cards as well that he keeps buying. Well, we keep buying them for him. So we need a um, storage solution for those. So I'm gonna give him this one to store his football cards in. Um, this came in at £1.50, okay? And then this one is a larger one. It's also got um, compartments in it. Looks like some pieces are missing from it, which is absolutely fine. You know, it would have had like some dividers there so you can actually split up the compartments. So what I'm gonna use this for, I'm going to be using this for as a medicine box because we don't actually have a medicine box. I have everything in like a, a large um, zip bag you know, so I'm going to put everything in here, sort it all out. Also, if we're traveling, I can just um, put our meds into this and then pop it into the suitcase, you know. Um, things like um, hay fever tablets, paracetamol, cowpole, all that kind of thing. 
I can just pop in there and then just pop this in our case you know but for home purposes I'm going to put a big white cross on here and this will be our medicine box okay and this one came in at two pounds was it two pounds fifty either two pounds or two pounds fifty okay for that so these like I said these are originally Ikea it's got Ikea written underneath it and I think Little Oakley's got some of these already in the blue colour in this size. I'm sure he's got some of these already because they do actually stack because they've got the little feet underneath them like that. So and on the top it's got like indents of the same sort of pattern so you can stack them on top of each other. So yeah, thought yet yeah, have to pick these up. The storage always comes in handy. Okay, so that's those. Okay, so the next items I'm going to show... Oh, no, there's one more item from the charity shop I want to show you and it is a Christmas themed item well, i would say it's a christmas themed item and it's this stag or this stag head isn't that beautiful guys if you've been around since like last year and previous years when i decorated for christmas i did do some christmas diys and i basically spray painted nearly everything that i could get my hands on in black and it really looked gorgeous in my living room on these shelves here you know um, I know we're just getting into the summer and we're grateful for this glorious weather that we're having right now But when you see things like this in the charity shop guys, don't sleep on them. Don't don't say maybe when I Pop back it might be there. It's not gonna be there guys. Okay, because people like me Keep an eye out for these things, you know Especially like summer out of season, you know, we're in the summer So no one ain't gonna be really looking for Christmas stuff, but me <laughs> Amanda I found this in I can't remember, it was a charity shop in Bromley High Street. Oh my goodness, what's the name of the charity shop? Oh, I think it was St. Christopher's. St. Christopher's Hospice in Bromley High Street. This is where I found this. And this came in at three pounds. You know, it was on the top shelf. I thought it was part of their display because it was on the top shelf in between like the fashion. They had some handbags and they had some other things like some hats for like Royal Ascot. And this was just stuck in the middle of it. So I thought, let me ask if this thing is for sale. And then it had a sticker underneath. And I thought, yes, I'm bringing this to the till. And I got it. I absolutely love it. It is in a wooden kind of effect as well. Now, something like this in TK Maxx would fetch a good, I would say, over £10. Because it is a good size. You know, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. So, yeah, I had to get my hands on that. Okay, so that's the charity shop item. Now, I'm going to show you some items that I picked up in aldi's middle aisle now i'm not sure if this is going to be an uh like a continuous range for for aldi um but i do absolutely love them so if when you get to aldi you know if you're doing your grocery shopping do sway over to the middle aisle because they have these beautiful scented home fragrance in again it's part of the hotel collection that aldi do but it's got this whole new branding on it and i absolutely love it i'm i'm here for it now I picked up this candle in this lovely smoky grey green glass and this one is called Revive and the fragrance of this is rose, geranium and lavender. Those three combined together, I absolutely love that combination. This smells, okay, this smells like spa. It's giving me spa vibes. Fresh fragrance, you know, lovely gorgeous fragrance. It's got one wick to it as well, this candle. It's quite a small candle, or I would say, doesn't really say. Does it say how many ounces it is? Hmm. No. Oh yeah, 200 grams. It's a 200 gram candle. The colour of the glass is just everything, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a smoky grey, greenish colour, I would say. But the fragrance itself is amazing so i picked up this candle it's got a lovely cork lid to it as well this one came in at three pounds 49 so i also picked up the scented reed diffuser to go with it it's in that same fragrance and that lovely gorgeous bottle now let me just try to take this out of the box because i'm keeping this for myself okay it's not going to be gifted so normally when i'm gifting it i would, won't even take them out of the box but this I'm definitely going to be keeping for myself because I do absolutely love the design of the bottle. That lovely cork lid, okay. And what they've done, they've just made the surrounding of the lid cork so you can still have that sort of like look. 
but the reeds will still sit in there nicely. Okay, so that's the same fragrance, Revive. And this also comes with these neutral colour um, reeds. Now, I, would put, I don't know if I would have preferred them to be black reeds. I do have some black reeds that I can swap this out for. But I think maybe, yeah, I'll see how I get on with these ones. So I've gone really, really dark because the sun's just gone around the back of the house. Okay, so that's um, the items that I've got from Aldi. The reed diffuser was also £3.49, okay guys? Absolutely gorgeous, revive. Okay, so that's that. So guys, I've been very, very good. I've been into Poundland and I only picked up two items. Well, two homeware items. I could get things like crisps and sweets and things like that for little Oakley snacks after school. Those are, most of them have been consumed already to be fair with you. So the only things I can show you are two bits of homeware. So these bits that I'm just gonna show you are for my kitchen. I'm, well, I started a series in my kitchen, guys. Well, I've been decluttering the kitchen. I did my glassware cupboard, my wine glasses and all that cupboard, and it still looks absolutely beautiful, guys. It still looks organized. It's gonna be like that because I'm not gonna buy any glassware to go in those cupboards because it just it's not gonna fit in there, okay? What I've got there now, is what we need and what we're gonna be using. So nothing else can fit in that cupboard, okay guys? I do have some other cupboards to do. I did promise you that I was gonna be doing my pot and pan cupboard. That was last Sunday's video. But last Sunday, guys, England was playing. Um, I was hoping to film in the morning and get it edited in time, you know, to go out on Sunday. But, you know, Oakley had football, so we took him to football and all of that. By the time he came home, had lunch, you know how it goes, Sundays go so quickly. So I really should have filmed that video like in the week rather than film it on the actual day because it wasn't gonna happen. We got home, settled down, and then the football was on. So yeah, <laughs> you know, well done. <laughs> well done to England winning their first round of the Euros, you know, but yeah, enough about that. So that content, that kitchen cupboard um, content, I might bring it to you as a bonus video this week, or it might be coming up for this Sunday's video, okay? So do make sure your notification bell switched on so you don't miss out on any of my series for decluttering the kitchen. Um, I was thinking to do them like executively, you know, like one after the other, but I think I'm gonna do it like in little stages. I'm not just gonna bombard you with a whole load of decluttering because I just think that can be quite overwhelming. Even to watch can be quite overwhelming. But I wanna say thank you for those of you that watched that video. You know, if you haven't watched it, I will link it in the description box and I'll also put it on the end cards. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all of you that watched that video and got motivated from the video, you know, got some inspiration to get decluttering, doing your kitchen cupboard or whatever cupboard, you know, or, just decluttering in general, you know? Um, so yeah, thank you so much for all the lovely comments on that video and my other videos as well. You guys have been absolutely amazing. So the two items I'm gonna show you are from Powerland and they are for my kitchen because I do need to declutter my kitchen drawers as well. The whole kitchen needs a proper declutter. We've got knives and that that we're not using. I tend to just use like two knives, you know, hubby's a chef. So we've got so many like, utensils we got so many so anyways popped into poundland and i saw this now it's like poundland can see what's going on with me guys because i'm in need of something like this for my kitchen drawer now this is a cutlery organizer um it's brilliant because it comes in two parts so you've got this bit here where you can put your sharps there your sharp knives okay this bit actually lifts off okay which is brilliant you know um this lifts off and then you can put your knife and forks in there your teaspoons you know you can put like your long like um, wooden spoons your cooking spoons and all that in there plus it's gonna hold the sharps so you can put your sharp knives on there and then this can actually just slide over as well like that what i might do is put all my sharp knives in here and then just still slide this over and put some other things in here because I don't like to have knives exposed, you know, even in the even in the drawer, you know, for little Oakley, I really don't like to have knives, but yeah. 
but I do like the concept of this. Now, this came in at just four pounds, guys. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really good quality as well. If it gets dirty, you can just wipe it down. You know, absolutely brilliant for four pounds, you know. We were looking to get our kitchen like refitted, like a whole brand new kitchen. And we're holding back, we're holding back um, for a little while. Um, and what I'm doing, I'm just decluttering and gonna try and spruce up the kitchen as best as I can, you know, on a budget. Um, I've seen things like this in like Ren Kitchen and all the kitchen stores, they sell these things that come with the, ki with, that comes with the kitchens. And they cost so much money, you know? I mean, this can even go in the drawer this way. If you have a wide drawer, you can actually put it in your drawer this way rather than that way. Yeah, these things cost so much money in those kitchen stores, you know? Four pounds in Poundland. I think that's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, so that's my first item that I got from Poundland this time round. You know, very practical, very much needed. So I got it. <laughs> Okay, so the next item that I picked up in Poundland. Now, this item, again, is very much needed, I would say, in my household. Especially for me, because I'm a person that doesn't like to cut onions. Anything that's like, that's got that strong smell, onion, garlic, I'm not a fan, you know? So, I do have an electric chopper that I do tend to take out of the cupboard when I'm sort of like... If I'm doing a big meal where I'm cutting a lot of onions... I would just, you know, use the knife, to be fair with you. But, like I said, I don't really like doing it. So, Poundland have brought this into the new Pepco range, I should say, Pepco. Okay, also that cutlery tray is part of the new Pepco range, okay. Um, this is a manual chopper. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a porter chopper. So, again, Poundland can hear me, you know. They brought in to their new pet coal range this pull chopper. Okay, so it's a manual chopper, no batteries, no electric needed. These are absolutely brilliant. Now I did have one of these many years ago um, when Oakley was a baby. I, I used to make up his lunch in one of these, you know, put carrots in there, you know, cooked carrots, potato, sweet potato, a little bit of gravy, a little bit of meat and just like blend it all up, you know, and it becomes a nice meal for a baby. So this is absolutely brilliant if you have a young baby and the baby's weaning, starting to eat solids and all that, all of that. But it's also good for the kitchen, of course. If you're someone like me that doesn't like to chop onions or chop vegetables, you just pop everything into the main bit there. It's got a little blade that goes round. Pop the lid on. Yeah, pop the lid on and then you just pull. And as you're pulling, the blades are spinning around, guys. Now you'd be amazed of what this little thing can do. Now I haven't tried the pet coal one as yet, but like I said, I have had one of these similar, which I think I picked up in Robert Dias or Lakeland, somewhere like that. I don't even know where that is, I think. It might be in the cupboard, to be honest with you. The cupboard that I haven't yet got to. It might be at the back of that cupboard. But, you know, I saw this in Poundland. I thought it's a really good nifty tool to have around the house, to have around the kitchen. This also came in at £4, okay? So, guys, that's my last item from today's mini collective haul. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Do give this video a thumbs up, a like. Subscribe if you are new for more content like this. If you like these kinds of um, shopping hauls, and I'm, I'm mainly bringing you shopping hauls these days, aren't I? Um, the sun is beaming, guys. It looks like we're gonna have, you know, a couple of weeks of sunshine um, from this week going forward, which is, which is just absolutely lovely. I absolutely love the sun. It's all good, it's all cool. So some garden content is gonna be coming onto the channel as well as my decluttering series of my kitchen okay so do stay tuned for that so like i said if you are new i'd love for you to stick around subscribe hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my up and coming videos take care keep well and i'll see you very soon in the next video thanks for watching bye Pom nail time <laughs>
Is there going to be a thumbnail? Because I don't even know what to show you because it's a collective haul. No, no thumbnail. I'm not going to give it away. Take care, guys. Bye.